Okay, here's our real-world scenario for the IT department. We've um, got an IT department site, a department site, underneath Biff's consulting agency's site. So the IT department has a couple of requirements that they need to get knocked out really quick. The first one is going to be creating an asset tracking list, and that's what we're going to do in this video. So we've already experienced how to use getting started and everything else, so we're going to remove that. And then what we're going to do is we need to create an asset tracking list. So let's go to the symbol, the gear symbol, and click on add an app, and we're going to make a custom list. We're going to call this assets. And we're going to go in and we're going to call, we're going to edit the list. We're going to call this field friendly name. And in IT world, assets are what IT owns. So laptops, some cases cell phones, keyboards, monitors, anything with a power cord or a USB port is pretty much an asset. Um, in some cases, a cubicle is an asset, but basically anything the IT department owns. So now what you'll see is um, on some of your materials at your, com your company, you might have an asset tag. Or if you have like a Dell computer, you'll have a service tag, which is really an asset, an asset tag or an asset number. And we're also, so we're going to make a field for that. And then we're going to, uh, make a choice field and we'll call it an item type. We'll call this, uh, let's just do, uh, let's do desktop, laptop. cell phone, desk phone, and projector. Just so we have a couple of things to work with. And we'll just leave those default, click OK. And then we'll actually also add a choice for building. We're going to pretend like, or well, we're not going to pretend. Biff's accounting, or Biff's consulting firm is a multi-site firm or his agency has multiple sites. So we'll say, uh, we'll just do north, south, east, and west. And then we'll click OK. Make sure that says friendly name. And we'll stop editing the list. So. This is going to be our simple list for editing, uh, for adding assets. So I'm going, to, I'm going to pause the video and fill this out with some information. Okay, so I've added um, about six items to our asset list. So we have a friendly name. So if we need to look it up, uh, we know what it is without having to figure out what the asset tag is. Um, we can find out the building. We can find the desktop, laptop, everything else. So that is... Um, that's our asset list. Now, the next thing we want to do um, is create a help desk ticket system that will utilize this asset list. So uh, check out the next video, and I'll put the link on the YouTube video.